Hello, viewers! Welcome back to another episode of Relating Me and You, You and Me through YouTube. And here I am with another video on this Teachers Day. Not Teachers Day, and being a teacher brings in so much nostalgia, so much nostalgia, so many memories in my life. Because I was once a teacher, and I loved that part of my life. I loved working as a teacher, uh, giving that you know, uh, playing a very important part in a student's life. I just loved that. And as it is Teachers Day, I thought I should might as well create an updated makeup routine for teachers, or in fact, any working person who goes to office or even on Zoom. You have to attend your meetings, so you know when you have like ten minutes or so to get ready. How you can put yourself together with minimal techniques? Because I have. in this video put together a lot of hacks where i am telling you a very um, new updated techniques or uh, tips and tricks that you can say which will help you get yourself together be more presentable self for yourself um, in 10 or 12 minutes so that's what this video is going to be about uh, get ready with me teachers special less than 10 minutes makeup tutorial Let's just directly get into the video. Let's begin. So first things first, we are obviously going to start with skincare because no beauty routine or no perfect beauty routine is ever complete without starting with skincare. Because if you skip skincare, I am not sure if your makeup is going to look good. So I would always suggest that whenever you want to do something that's very natural or even when you want to do something that's full coverage. and you know full glam you still should always start with skin care because skin care is going to make sure that your skin looks healthy and then whatever makeup you do on top of it is going to look just perfect so let's start with skin care and as i want something very natural looking something very uh dewy and glossy i am going to start with this farsali rose gold elixir oil this is a very very beautiful oil and it looks perfect when you lay makeup on top of this so i'm going to take a few drops on my finger and just warm it a little bit and then nicely start from the circumference of my face because that is the driest region for me so i like applying it first on the circumference where it's needed maximum and then slowly gradually come inwards and when i'm coming in words i'm first applying it under my eyes because again under eyes are very dry for me so i like applying it there so that whatever makeup i put on top of it glides on smoothly and then whatever is left is going to go on the rest of the face let me just gently very gently massage this into my skin and now that oil is going to give my skin the moisture that is needed and at the same time it is going to make sure that my skin is looking nice and healthy and hydrated next thing we are going to do is use a primer and for that i am using this smashbox pore minimizing primer this primer is perfect for people like me who have pores who have uh, texture on their skin nicely rubbing it into my skin There are these few steps that are absolutely essential I feel when you're doing a makeup routine whether it is a quick makeup routine or whether it is an uh, elaborate makeup routine I think these steps are essential you know there are other few steps that you can completely skip but these steps I think are very very essential otherwise either your makeup is going to crack or it's not going to look good that I can say for sure and while all of that primer is setting into our skin we are going to give it a few seconds so that it is nicely absorbed into your skin and everything is ready to start with before that we are going to do our eyebrows and i am going to use this eyebrow pencil by etude house very nice pencil very very natural looking perfect for indian skin tones indian eyebrows i am just going to fill in the sparse region nothing too much nothing to elaborate just filling in the sparse regions and this one is really quick to work with so you know it's perfect for those quick routines and another advantage is that it comes with a spoolie so that is why you know it's just perfect for quick routines as i said 
and those eyebrows are done and let's move with another gloss routine that's going to be a matte strobe cream you can use any strobe cream that you have and if you're extra oily you can just skip this as well but i like the look of strobe cream uh, when i am trying to do something that's very natural looking so i like adding that gloss to my skin see it has added such nice glow to your skin and just at the right places it does not make you look like you've sweat out a lot or your skin has you know uh, thrown out a lot of oil nothing like that just perfect glow and now starting with the actual makeup routine we are going to start with this sugar jelly highlighter it's in the shade gold coal and this works perfect underneath your makeup to give you that dewy glow again because you know i am going for something that's very natural so i would definitely like to use something that's going to give me a very very beautiful glow because when i'm glow when i am going for a natural look i dig a dewy one so i took a little bit here on my hand and i'm going to nicely melt it into my finger otherwise it can look a little chunky if you put it directly on your face so i like putting it on my finger melting it down here and then putting it on my skin so it's going to go everywhere you know under my brow bone on my inner corner just everywhere I'm also going to take that same highlighter and put on my eyelids because it looks very very nice in a very subtle way. It looks like your actual eyelids are shining, you know. They are nice and glowy and you don't have to put any eye shadows on top of it to do an eye look here. So when you're going for a quick routine, this is my one tip that I would advise. that whatever highlight you're taking just put it on your eyelid and when your whole look is complete it's going to look wonderful right now if you think that this is a little or if it's too much just just trust the process and now let's move to the next step and that's going to be concealer and i am using the two faced one this is known as a uh, two faced on this way multi use sculpting concealer in the shade light beige Now again I'm going to take this on back of my hand because you know that's how I like to do things keeping it a little hygienic and then taking my beauty blender I'm going to pick some of it and start from the inner corner of my under eyes this is just to give a little bit of coverage and to provide little hydration to my under eyes because as I mentioned earlier they are a little dry so I like applying this concealer because it's very hydrating and it gives a very nice brightened look to my under eyes without putting too much of effort so they look nice with this concealer basically and it's very easy to blend it's very easy to work with and quick so that's what the target is here quick so whatever product i am mentioning here are really quick to work with and same i'm going to repeat on my other side because this is an early morning routine we know how sleep deprived the teachers are so it's important to conceal i think and now i'm going to top it up with this bb cream it's known as uh, remel london bb cream with spf 15 so i really like this one it's a very long lasting very sure coverage but still evening out your skin tone kind of a bb cream so i'm going to take a little bit it's a little watery because obviously it's sheer coverage so it's little watery and i like to apply it with my beauty blender you can go ahead and use a brush but i just like taking it with a beauty blender i think it works better that way and again very very easy to use and even out your skin tone very naturally without making it uh cakey or without taking too much time to 
I think that is what we all look for, right? In our makeup products, that they are very easy to blend. They are very natural looking nowadays. If I talk about five years earlier, things were very different because people used to like things more matte. They used to like things more uh, looking like makeup. But nowadays, people dig things that are more natural looking. And anyways, teachers, when we talk about, they have to look natural, but they still have to look put together because after all, they are their students' idols and students look up to them of how they present themselves or how they are looking. You know, that completely changes your personality and the way a student looks at you. So I think it's important that you look more put together. And now since teachers have a very very long day, I'm going to use this wet and wild setting spray. It's a matte setting spray. So this is going to help your makeup stay on point and I love this setting spray and I can bet on it that this one makes sure your skin looks absolutely beautiful throughout the day so even if you are from an oily family this setting spray is going to make sure that your skin doesn't oil throughout the day so and now i'm going to powder it up a little bit with my pack cosmetics compact powder you can use any compact powder you have or for that matter you can even use a loose powder but i think loose powder makes things a little cakey so i like using a compact powder instead This is going to go only on my T-zone, which is very, very oily for me. So just on my T-zone, I'm going to push it in like that. Just take that powder and push it in. And our next step is going to be blush. So I'm using this Milani Baked Blush. I really like the color and the texture of this blush. It's in the shade Luminoso 05. And I just love how nice sheen it gives to your face. So if you are not a highlighter kind of a person, but you like blush, you can use this kind of blush, which gives you a little bit of sheen along with that blush blush, you know. And that would be pretty much it for the face. Very quick, right? And moving to the eyes, I'm going to take the same blush with the same brush that I used. Take a tiny bit of it and just go over my eyes like that very very randomly just like that no effort to be put in here and it looks like you have done an eye look everything looks very well blended into each other and very put together because you are using minimum products with simplest techniques to create this look and now let's move to the kajal and i'm using this plum kajal to create this look again and just doing it on my lower lash line so i'm doing it on my lower waterline lower lash line and upper waterline just the waterline You see, it looks like a complete eye look. It doesn't look that it's done with the simplest techniques in a really quick way. It looks a complete eye look, right? Let me do my other eye. And now going over with the mascara because that's very important so that you look nicely woken up. After all, you're the teacher. <laughs> Coming to the final step that's going to be lipstick and for that I am using Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick and it's in the shade Babe Alert. This is a perfect everyday nude lipstick which stays for long although you can eat, drink, whatever you want but still it say, stays on point.
how this look has turned out i absolutely love this is my go to look whenever i have to go somewhere where i have to look presentable but it should not look like full glam so this is what i opt for and this is what i go for because it's very quick it's very minimal and at the same time it's very put together it shows like you care how you look you care about what impression you put on other people so i think this is a perfect makeup routine for that with very nice hacks and if you also like this video and you think it is helpful uh, go and share with people who would like this video and to whom this video will help so yeah that's all for this video if you like it give it a big fat thumbs up and if there is anything that you want me to make videos on drop it in the comment section below i'll be more 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 than happy to do it until then take care tada